Everyone knows right now as I speak, we are in the middle of the 2020 presidential election between Biden and Trump. This video you are about to watch is not me telling you if I voted or not. It isn't me telling you who I voted for. None of that. Fuck that. This video right here is to tell you what goes on behind bars during election time. Well, hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. You get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, everybody? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead, hit that like, subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see it first. Okay, I appreciate everybody tuning in, checking out this video. This video right here wasn't planned or nothing. This is just straight off the top. I literally just thought of it right now as we speak, okay? Since we're going through all this stuff with the presidents at the moment, trying to find out who's going to be our next president, I decided that I'm going to make a video and tell you exactly how it goes down when you are incarcerated around this time. Even though I'm out here on the streets right now while they're trying to decide who the next president is, OK Fraud happened to be locked up last time when Trump won against Hillary. So I'm going to let you know how it goes down in prison around this time. Because even though they just passed the law that felons are allowed to vote, oh, Frog didn't vote. You feel me? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me who becomes president. That's how I look at it. Some people may agree. Some people may disagree. Some people may feel like felons don't have the right to vote. Some people may feel like, damn, about time felons can vote. All right? Now... When I was locked up, when Trump was going against Hillary, all right, I'll never forget it. When things like this come around, it's like a hustle. It's like a gamble. In prison, people try to find any single thing they can to hustle off of, whether it's sports games, board games, card games, anything, no matter what it is. As far as Coming up with who's an actor in a movie. People will bet on that. Man, I bet you 10 honey buns right now that it's such and such that plays in that movie. Man, I call that. I bet you it ain't. And next thing you know, that you know, anything's a gamble. So around this time right now, oh, you best believe shit's going down inside of prison. You got the goods and the bads. You got the ones that are winning right now. And then you got the ones that are losing right now. Some people are going to pay up. Some people ain't going to pay up. Okay. Now, when I was incarcerated, so many people were going for Hillary, okay, around this time. So many people were going for Hillary. So me, I'm like, shit, I want to bet some. So I'll bet you 110. I'm only going up to $110 is what I was betting that Trump was going to win last time. Now, before it came down to it all, I ended up going to confinement for something. So that bet didn't even, you know, we didn't even get to lock it in. But while I was in confinement, me and my bunkie ended up betting. And we betted something small, you know, because we're in the box. All we betted was 20 push-ups on call. For those that don't know what that means, that means when if you lose, whenever that boy tells you, hey, give me three push-ups, you got to drop down and do them on call. But that ain't the only thing that people bet for in there. You know what I'm saying? People bet canteen and make you shave an eyebrow. You know, little things like that. Bet animal noises on call. Spider-Man's on call. Beyonce's on call. Typical little things like that. Okay? Now, me and my bunkie, we betted 20 push-ups on call. So next thing you know, the officer comes around. Master Ross the time, around 10.30 at night, Hillary was winning. You know, Trump, it was like over with. Everyone was saying Trump ain't going to win. Trump is over with. It's over with. It happened to be lights out around that time. Okay. So once they did their Master Ross, the last we heard, Trump was losing. Hillary was winning. Lights went out, everything. My bunky decides to lay back and go to sleep. He's laying there. He put his damn shirt tied around his head and he's laying there on the bottom bunk going night night. You feel me? Me, I'm like, ah, it is what it is. It's only 20, you know, push-ups on call. I mean, when's the worst he can ask me to do it? Shit, we're in the box. Only time he can ask me to do it is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You feel me? There ain't really no other times. What, when I go to the shower, he's going to say, hey, let me get some push-ups. You know, he's going to yell it from one shower to another. So it wasn't really that bad as far as on the compound. 
Now, if I would have owed them 20 push-ups on the compound, you want to hurry up and get them over with. You never want to let that shit ride out. Some people will ride it out. You know, kind of like how Birdman did Lil Wayne and didn't want to let Lil Wayne drop his last album. That's what these people will do, boy, when they when they got you in the hole with them Beyonce's or push-ups or Spider-Man's or whatever it is. Now, what Spider-Man's are, when someone says, man, let me get one of them Spider-Man's, like if they owe you one, them boys got to act like they Spider-Man. They literally got to put their hands out like this and, and act like they're webbing to the wall and put their hands on the wall and act like they're climbing it. Like they're Spider-Man. You feel me? That's what Spider-Mans are. Beyonce's is when they get up on the wall, put their hands on the wall and start saying, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. And I've seen people in the county jail get people with that all the time. That is one thing a lot of people bet on in the county jail. Animal noises speaks for itself. If I tell you, come on, bro, let me get one, bro. You feel me? And then on call means anytime. Doesn't matter if we're in the damn canteen line, the chow hall line, on the rec yard, no matter where it is. When it's on call and I say, let me get that. You feel me? I can have you do, if you owe me a hundred of them, I can have you do 20 of them right now, three of them right now, one of them right now, 50 of them right now. It's on call. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's funny as hell when you got people hollering and screaming different animal noises. The funniest one I ever heard someone try to do, which I always would try to make someone do, is the elephant. Because you got someone screaming at the top of their lungs trying to sound like a damn elephant. But anyways, it was only 20 push-ups on call. So I'm like, damn, okay, whatever it is, what it is. So he like, yeah, bro, I'll be getting some of them push-ups from you tomorrow, frog, ain't none. I said, all right, shit, it is what it is. Like I said, we're in the box. So after that, the officer come around again later on that night. I'm leaning up against the door, you know, like this, just chilling. He walked by with his flashlight, shined the light real quick. I'm like, hey, hey, Sarge, hey, Sarge. My bunkie sleep. I said, I said, oh, so I said, Hillary won, huh? It's over with? He's like, no, nah, Trump won. I said, for real? A bunch of people went to screaming under the doors from different cells. Yeah, boy, it was Trump. Boy, I'm listening on the radio. I'm listening on the radio. I said, nah. What I do? Turn around, tap my bunkie. Hey, 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 bunkie. Hey, Bunky, boy, Trump won, boy. Boy, Trump won, boy. You feel me? He like, that's crazy, bro. You know, he never took the the, uh, the shirt off of his face. He's just laying there like, damn, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. But then it just dwelled on me like, hold on, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Let me get that, bro. And he's like, man, come on with the bullshit, bro. I said, bro, let me get that, bro. Straight up, boy. Let me get that right now, boy. He like, bro, are you dead ass serious, bro? And me and him was from the fight over it, you know? So I said, oh, so what you reneging now? So me and him went to arguing because I was like, oh, you reneging now. So you reneging now? You bad business now. You reneging, brother? What it is? You ain't finna let me get that on call? He like, bro, you dead ass serious, bro? You finna make me get up, bro, at 2 o'clock in the morning, bro? Drop down the gear? I said, bro, you got to give him to me, bro. I said, what you want to fight? Because you reneging? You reneging on me? He dropped down on the ground, bro, 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, bro, you only got to give me seven of them. I'm going to keep 13 of them. I just want seven of them. And I had his ass drop down and give me seven push-ups. Two o'clock in the morning, bro, on call. And he still owed me 13 of them. But me and him almost fought over it because he was hot that I found the perfect time in them. Make him get up. Yeah, here we go. And I'd be like, hey, Bunky, you sleep? he will be like, yeah, bro. I'd be like, then how you talking, bro? Let me get that, bro. Let me get that. <laughs> you feel me? So I used to piss him off and everything. But best believe, I'll never forget that because when Trump won, I won 20 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? And it gets deeper than that on the compound, you know. Had a couple people the next couple days coming back there to confinement, bro, that got like wet up, that didn't want to pay up, that betted. You know, just like when the Super Bowl comes around. So many people are betting, you know, and it gets extreme. Some people will put $300 worth on the damn election. $300 worth on a Super Bowl, $600. People will bet a cell phone, $600, $650. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. So when the presidential election comes around, you know, just because, you know, felons ain't really got no voice from behind that wall, best believe it is still being taken seriously from behind the wall. You feel me? Like I know on the streets, you know, they look at it like felons shouldn't get the right to vote and whatnot. And I'm allowed to vote now, but I didn't vote this year. You feel me? But 
so many people are, you know, throw it bad wise, you know, at, at felons, like felons don't have the right to vote. Me, I feel like anyone in America has the right to vote. As long as you are allowed here and you are legally here, I feel like you have the right to vote, whether you are a felon or not. You see, because not every felon deserves to be a felon. Shit happens, you know? So I know right now as this shit is going on, especially with them not getting all the damn, you know, all the votes from every single state and everything last night like they were supposed to. I know right now as we speak, there is people trying to collect ahead of time, feeling like they already won. And this is all around the world probably. If you were an inmate or if you are a convict and you've been incarcerated before, then you know shit gets real behind that wall when it comes to election time. It isn't something that's just swept under the rug like inmates don't care. That shit gives them something to feed off of. They fuel off that for a week straight. There's some people in there, boy, that are so political into it that you want to believe it. You know, they'll break it down and make you see a different side between Republicans and, you know what I'm saying, Democrats to where you're like, holy shit. That's how it is. They break it down. And by my experience from when Trump won last time, I knew I had to speak on it. You feel me? Now, this video here, I want people to go ahead and drop in the comment section, you know, uh, Try not to fight amongst each other or nothing like that. You feel me? Let's keep it all clean. But what I want y'all to drop in the comment section is, is I want y'all to drop who you would vote for or who you voted for and then give a reason why. Because even though felons were allowed to vote this year, they passed it to where felons are allowed not to, uh, allowed to vote. Me, I didn't want to vote. You know, because it doesn't matter if gasoline goes from $50 an hour, I mean, $50 a gallon to $200 a gallon. That is one thing everyone is going to still end up buying. That is something, whether, even if you don't have a vehicle, you may need it for a generator. You may need it for them damn little gas power, more control cars. You may need it for anything you could think of that may need gas. You know, people would always buy gasoline. You know, I know between Trump and Biden, they both had their ups and downs. Some of them got some good points. Some of them don't. So me, I just, eh. even though I got the right, I didn't vote. So I'm asking people to drop in this comment section who you voted for and give me a reason why. That way I can, you know, check out y'all's comments, read up on it a little bit. And I want to get everybody's opinion and point of, a point of view. I want to see the reasons why. You feel me? Because me, I've never voted before, day of my life. Never chose to be Democrat or Republican. None of that. So now that I'm allowed to, I'd like to, you know, look into it a little bit. And me, I, I didn't look into it enough to where I felt like choosing a side. So I just fell back. And whatever happens, happens. At the end of the day, we're all humans. And at the end of the day, you can't make everyone happy. No matter if it's Biden or Trump, whatever they do, there's going to be a chunk of people who are with it and a chunk of people who are against it. You feel me? So y'all make sure y'all put that in the comment section. And like I said, we ain't here to argue. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I just want to hear what everyone's got to say. And pray for the people that are locked up right now that don't deserve to be there. Because I know due to this election, people are like bringing it up to bet on it. Like, oh boy, who you got? Trump or Biden? This week, what, like it's a football game. Oh, boy, Trump finna win that. Shit, I bet you 25, Biden win. Come on now, bro. You ain't really about that. What's up? Let's bet. Let's shake on it. Oh, oh, it's locked in. 25, call that. And then in confinement, people really starving back there. So they really betting on it right now. They really. Like, even though the world's taking it serious with all these votes and everything, people going down there, there's lines at all the libraries and you see all the people with the damn signs and shit and the, and the signs on their cars and the flags and all that outside. You best believe people in prison, which are people that a lot of people feel like don't have the right to vote. You would not believe how many of them are taking it dead ass serious in there. Around this time of year, they lock compounds down. Because of this shit. It'll, it'll break out and it'll never hit the streets. You'll never hear about it. You'll never, if it broke out right now over Trump and Biden, they would cover it all up, put everyone in confinement, ship everyone to different places, get them off each compound and stuff like that. And you wouldn't even hear about it. They would cover things up like that. 
because they don't want people on the streets to hear it and then people on the streets to react if they have loved ones inside them institutions. But best believe shit get down to the needy greedy when it comes to this election. And I just wanted to let people know that because I know a lot of people do not know that. You feel me? And me, I know from personal experience. Like I said, after I went to the box, there was people coming in from getting wet. Some people be, you know, fiending for their fix in there, trying to get high or trying to get tattoos or whatever their, you know, their damn addiction is in there. So they'll bet on the presidential election and knowing they can't cover that tab, but they're just going with who they feel like a lot of people are going with. They try to ride the wave and then they'll lose and then people will want to collect. They won't have it to cover. The other person will know they ain't going to have it to cover. They know this person most likely is going to check in. I know he ain't got money like that. He ain't hit canteen. Look at all the holes in his uniform and his blues. He's got holes on his uniform. Never hits the canteen window. None of that. But he want to bet 150 right now that Biden's going to win against Trump. He going to try to check in. He's just trying to hopefully he wins. He, it's like a gamble. Like back in the day when I was a jit, go inside of a pool hall and play pool. Yeah, I got you. I call that $20 a game. But really, in my mind, it's like, shit, if I lose, I'm going to hit him with the pool stick. I'm going to start a brawl in here. You know, I'm not expecting, you know, I'm expecting to get paid, but I'm not expecting to pay him. That's that's what a lot of people in prison try to do around this time of year. So people will know as soon as they give them the runaround. Oh, yeah, bro, my peoples, they're going to think they're going to check in and they're going to wet them. They're going to patch them up. That's why a lot of people are getting hurt right now as we speak inside of Florida prison. And I guarantee you, it is around the world and other places as well. You feel me? But like I said, I literally just put this video together right now as we speak. As I seen that they didn't, you know, decide who the president was because a couple states, their votes didn't go through yet. I heard Trump taking it to Supreme Court and stuff. He feels like they're trying to commit fraud against them. The whole nine. And one thing I do know is down here where I'm from, Broward County in Florida, Florida voted for Trump, but the least ones for the ones that were mostly against Trump was Dade County and Broward County where I'm at. You feel me? That's just how it is down here. You know what I'm saying? There's so much ups and downs. This person's good for this, but bad for this. This person's good for this. This person's bad for that. And I seen they said that they want to start minimum wage going up from like $8 and 30 cents, I believe, or eight seventy. Now they want to start off at $15 an hour. You feel me? So you got a lot of people complaining about that. And then you got a lot of people happy about it. So like I said, I'm just the messenger. And I just want everyone to drop who they're going for, who they went for, the reason why. Just give me a good reason why. That's all. I just want to know so I can check it out, look into it, read into it. And then maybe next time they do presidents again, then I'll be more in tuned. And then I can actually, you know, take advantage of being able to vote now. Because when you vote, your voter's card is also another proof of ID, identification. So it's always good to have that, I guess, you know. But anyways, this ain't really like that hood of a video or nothing like that. But it's definitely real spill. Because I will never forget when I was in confinement and Trump won against Hillary. When I told that boy, get up, boy, and let me get them right now. Right now. Almost got in a fight over it and all. See what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. And like I said, man, don't miss that comment section. Y'all already know, man. Till next time, this is Frog.